Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about how to delete rows from your target database when you're processing your ETL jobs in Data Factory or Synapse Analytics using data flows when you're processing a source that is missing a few rows. So this is a fairly common scenario when you want to process a new set of data coming in that is pretty much an exact match of what is in your target database except there are a few rows that are missing, and then what do you do with those? I have videos on the sites, and I'll put some links in the, des the description on how to detect missing rows using row fingerprints and uh, change data and those sort of mechanisms. In this case, in this example, I'm going to just use a simple exists against a key column within my data. But what's going to happen is I'm going to process data that is missing a few rows from the target. I'm going to delete those out of the target. Okay, so let's jump in. Now on the design surface, you see I have two sources, but the only source that I'm actually processing is this movies file one. All right. The other source, movies DB, is actually my target. So you'll see it over here in my sync. But the reason why I've also included it as my source is because I need to use it to look up the values in there with the exists transformation to see if the rows from the incoming source are not there in the target, in which case I want to delete them. And you will delete them using the alter row transformation and a delete policy in the alter row. So let's take a look at what I have for my data. So I have the movies data here in my movies file one, and you see it has 9,115 rows. Now I've added an extra row at the end uh, that we can delete then to see how this would work. And I called it my simple movie from this year and my ratings were not good, one and one are my ratings. And I just created a unique key of one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the other source is the target movies database. This also has uh, let me actually do a refresh so you can see the number, 9,115 rows in it as well. So it's the exact duplicate of that incoming source. So what would happen is, in this scenario, when I process the next day's data, it only have 9,114 rows. And I actually want to delete then that missing row in the target. Okay, so you see that I have the same number of rows in the database right now. Let's go over to that file. Let's go back here and I'm going to delete that sample row. Okay, so now let's process the data without that sample row with 9,114 rows in it. By the way, here's a little trick for you. When you're in data uh, flow debug data preview, when you're in the previewing the data, it's a fairly aggressive cache that's being used so that the browser is very responsive to what you're doing as a designer and a developer. So when I've made the change to the source file, the data that's cached in my browser and in the data frames is still the same as it was before with all 9,115 rows. I have to invalidate that cache. I'm just going to change the name of the source transformation. It's a little trick you can do. And then now when I refresh my data preview, you'll see that it has one fewer row in it, one less row, which should be 9,114. And then I'll show you what to do with the rest of this. Let's uh, give that a second. And we've reset the cache. We see we have 9,114 rows. Okay, so we have one less row. Now, off of the movies DB source, when I read the rows in there, I'm going to use an exist transformation to look for, in the settings, the existence of the key value, the movie key, the uh, primary key, unique key, that is not present in the target that's coming in uh, from the source. Actually, the other way around, this is more like it's looking for something that is not in the source that is present in the target, so I use doesn't exist. Now, when I do a data preview, you'll see the one row. Now, that one row that I deleted from the source is still there in the target, and I want to delete it. So you should see one row come back from my exist transformation here. All right, and that is, in fact, the record that we want to delete. So to delete it, now to take it to the next step, we have to use an alter row. Alter row will let me set policies for different types of actions against the database. In this instance, I'm going to use delete. Very simple that I can just use true, just set it to true for my policy for deleting with my alter row in this case because the only rows that are filtering out of my exists are going to be the rows that do not exist in this new source that are present in the target. So everything is going to be deleted. So I set it to true. In fact, if you look at the data preview, you will see that it is set to delete. Perfect. Now all I have to do is in the sync, I have to say allow delete, tell ADF what my key column is, which is movie, and then I'll do the rest. Now when you're using data preview, no action is taken on the uh, destination on the sink, so I have to run it from a pipeline. So execute this data flow from a pipeline just using debug. That'll take about 30 seconds to go through those rows and delete uh, from that target. And I'll come back when it's done cooking and we'll take a look at the results. All right, we're back and data flow says it is, uh, data factory says the data flow is complete. So now we can validate this back in the data flow. 
All right, now again, um, the data is cached. So what I want to do is because I've updated the target database, which is the same as the source, I can invalidate it by just changing the name of the source. Let's run a data preview here, and now we should see 9,114 rows. And then we'll do an exists, look at the exist data preview, and we should see no rows coming in that do not match because now we've synced the source with the target. And there we go, 9,114. We've deleted the row that was not present in the source and exists. Now it should show us nothing as a result. And there you go. So that is how to update your target if your source does not match. Thanks for watching. See you next time.